What's up, y'all? This is Stacy from H Blues Word. I hope you had a wonderful new year. Of course, I had a great one. I'm wishing you great health and prosperity for this upcoming year. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me. So today I want to talk about some recent comments that Chance the Rapper made, uh, really defending black women. So he kind of followed along with another actor like Damson Idris. He recently also defended uh, black women. And um, I did a post on that. You can always check it out on the channel. But Chance the Rapper, he took to his social media and he wanted to say some words defending black women, particularly black actresses who have been talking a lot about being underpaid in Hollywood. And this is what he said. Yo, I try not to add my voice to like, I don't know, current pop culture events that doesn't have to do with me. Uh, but there's this current conversation going on right now. A lot of black women, black actresses are coming out and talking about how they was dead. Uh, dirty in the industry, how they weren't paid for their work or, you know, and this has been going on for years. But the the worst part is seeing uh, the comments in a lot of under a lot of these posts with people talking about how they should have negotiated better. Or they should have read their contract and stuff. And these be like the dirtiest, dustiest, brokest, like least goal having, definitely least goal accomplishing people in the world and they are, they are write some stuff and they've never negotiated a contract they've never had to hire a lawyer and if they did it's like you not in the color purple <laughs> like you not doing nothing and i hate to add any like i hope this doesn't get picked up but yeah so yeah there you have it with chance the rapper and i just again i really applaud him i applaud him damson idris and any black man that really stands up for black women particularly publicly on social media because a lot of times black women are attacked it seems a lot on social media and just women in general but definitely black women um, but I love what he said when he was talking about how some people were questioning how Taraji or any of these black actresses speaking on how they're underpaid how they aren't negotiating well I'm like that is just insane because Taraji made it clear that she had a whole team that she's done all of these great projects. She works hard. She's classically trained. She does all the work that she is supposed to do. She dots every I, crosses every T, and yet she is still underpaid. So she does do the work. She does do the negotiation. And I have heard some people, I think it was Vlad TV, he was doing an interview with Lunell and he played devil's advocate where he said, if you're being underpaid in Hollywood, maybe you should do your own projects, uh, write your own film, produce your own film, direct your own film. And look, I'm all about being independent. I'm an independent company and I have major dreams for my company. But the reality is not everyone is in a position to produce their own projects or write their own projects. They may not be writers. Taraji may just want to focus on the craft of acting, which is something she is trained on. Now, I'm not saying she can't produce, she can't write, she can't direct. If she's open to that, that's a great thing. And I understand where Vlad was coming from with that, that you should always uh, have other options. But Taraji made it clear because she's underpaid in acting, she does actually have other hustles, maybe outside of entertainment. So she is doing other things. She's not just sitting around twirling her thumbs or, or begging for anything. She just wants to be fairly paid. Viola Davis wants to be fairly paid. Octavia Spencer wants to be fairly paid. The list goes on. In fact, Viola Davis does actually have a production company. It's called Juvie Productions. And I believe Juvie Productions actually produced Woman King, which did really well in the box office. And it was like an action film and a great story and an epic film. So we are very capable of doing major projects, starring in major projects, but it's all about that door being open for us. And a lot of times as black women, we deal with intersectionality where we have to deal with being a black individual in America and also a woman in America. So we have these obstacles. We have these obstacles when we walk into the room and negotiate. We have these obstacles when we are pitching certain stories, we may not be able to get certain 
certain funding, and I'm not making excuses. I know business is difficult. It can be hard. It's not guaranteed. Your success is not guaranteed. But the reality is, we simply want a fair shake. We want a fair opportunity. And even Taraji mentioned how she's often told she probably can't sell internationally. Well, the question is, has she been given the opportunity to sell internationally? And if not, then how can we really make that argument? But thank God for social media. Because of social media, Taraji, like she said, she has been able to see that she does have fans in Brazil. She does have fans in certain countries in Africa. She does have fans I, probably even in China. There is a market for black women internationally. I mean, we can even look at Europe. They loved Tina Turner. They love Beyonce. And just historically, black artists actually did travel to Europe to get better work. So there is an opportunity internationally for black artists. And Will Smith and The Rock, who I know is, is mixed, but Will Smith, The Rock, they prove, at least on the male side, that there's definitely an audience internationally, and they spend a lot of time internationally promoting their brand. And I would just love to see a black actress get that opportunity. Because as a black woman, I know my capabilities. When I wake up in the morning, I think of just myself as an individual in the things that I want to accomplish as an individual. But in America, you also have to remember that yes, you are a black woman. And unfortunately, that can limit you. And it's not just black women who are limited. I don't want to exclude any other women out there because this is a patriarchy society. Women of color are often limited and white women are often limited. But as a black woman, again, because of that intersectionality, sometimes when we're underpaid, we're under underpaid. Because we just saw with the SAG after strike that just in general, the industry is struggling with fair pay. But as a black woman, we are even under that often. Like if, if it's under pay at $100, we may get $50. So that's just a reality. And I applaud again, Chance the Rapper speaking up and saying, hey, look, these women aren't just complaining. This is a legitimate issue and they are fighting for the opportunities and they're fighting for the future generation to hopefully have the fairness, have the opportunity to become their greater selves and to again just have the opportunity to be fairly paid and to have the opportunity to be shown worldwide. Well, that's my show for today and I just wanted to share my thoughts on what Chance the Rapper said. Be sure to share your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Peace.